always good to have at least one Jesuit educated person here. That's good. Uh, that does make it a lot easier to start <laughs> and to, to begin speaking. Good morning. Sure. If, Jesuits get you going on that. Would you like to uh, introduce yourselves and then you may proceed? Okay. My name is Amanda Davis Bowie. I'm chairing the Lebanon County Women's Commission. And I'm Ali Malin Brado, and I am currently co chairing the Hall of Fame Committee for the Commission for Women. Okay. Welcome to both of you. Do you have a yeah. proclamation for you? Did you, or did you want to I give us some background? Sure, they want to go sure. In here. we'll give you just a little bit of background. So, the Women's Commission uh, came to be in 2003, so we've been around for quite a while, and we've been really privileged to have both Commissioner Litz and Commissioner Phillips as liaisons to our committee. Currently, it's Commissioner Litz, and we thank you. And you also sit on our Hall of Fame committee, so I'm probably telling things you already know. Uh, but we started the Hall of Fame a, a little over 10 years ago. It was 11 now that we missed the Hall of Fame ceremony in 2021 because of COVID. And the, the intention behind it is to honor the voices, experiences, and work of unsung heroes in our community. So women who are, work tirelessly, really keep the community running, uh, but rarely get asked for recognition or receive it in official capacities. And in 2020, we held our first virtual Hall of Fame due to COVID. And so we're here with sort of a two-part ask. The first is to uh, announce the names and recognize the women who were inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2020 because they did not get an in-person induction ceremony. And the other is to ask for a proclamation during Women's History Month that Amanda has prepared on behalf of the Women's Commission. Would it be okay if I share the names and induction categories for the yep, 2020? This is your Thank you. Slide. So uh, Megan Winslow was inducted as woman advocating for the arts. Cheryl Badorf was inducted as a woman creating community. Janice Buckingham was also inducted in the women creating community category. Christina Davis, who incidentally is Amanda's mother, was inducted as a woman prom woman promoting education. Uh, Lori Bowersox was inducted as a woman promoting education. Stephanie Andriazzi was inducted as a woman promoting health care. Judith Jo Clark was inducted as a woman um, demonstrating leadership in the community. Joanna Golden Knoll was inducted as a woman working on behalf of the military. Jennifer DeReyes was inducted as a woman advocating science and technology. And then we had two trailblazers who were inducted, Norma Iris Gonzalez and Jenny Murphy Shiflett. Uh, and all of these inductees have really just done incredible work in their fields and in our community. And we're so pleased to have them join a prestigious class of women in the Hall of Fame. Very good, that's quite a list. We also wanted to just give you a little update on some of the happenings that is going on with the commission. Due to COVID, 2021 hasn't been as exciting as our years usually are, um, but we needed to update you also on what had happened in 2020. So through the commission, we have something called the Glass Slipper Dress Sale, and it's a program that helps the young women in the community who would like to attend prom. Um, we had 355 dresses donated for our 2020 sale, and the sale netted over $1,800. And then we also have um, we also promote the Girls on the Run program, which has really been a really active organization. I think they have 70 girls that are participating this year, which is really impressive since we are still in the midst of COVID. Um, their final run is gonna be November 6th up at Millersville University. Um, and then we also help to promote the Junior Achievement Program. We donate to them every year. Um, and it's a phenomenal program. They have recently moved online due to COVID, but the positive in that is now they're able to reach thousands of children, um, which is a little bit different than the number that they were able to reach whenever they were actually working in the classrooms. So there is some collateral beauty that came out of COVID in that situation. So we're gonna get, oh, we also have a grants committee where we'll offer grants to women in the community who um, are working within the organization or are working for themselves. It's an application process. Um, and last year, the Grants Committee was not able to be active due to COVID, um, and we have to figure out how we're going to make it work this year since we still have some of the restrictions of COVID. And that brings us to our proclamation. Is it okay if I read it? 
Do you defer? Jamie, sure. Jamie, go right ahead. Yeah. 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 So, I'll get paid extra for Jamie usually reads them, Jamie but he's, oh, just, he's I don't want to take that. No, no, no. no. He's, Go on. He's good. He's good. Go on. <laughs> you're doing, all you're the, on a roll. Just you'll keep get going. the emphasis uh, better than me. <laughs> Go ahead. So our proclamation is for World's Women's Day, whereas International Women's Day is celebrated each year during Women's History Month on March 8th. The highlights and highlights the historical, cultural, and political achievements of women. And whereas this day serves as a call to action against gender discrimination around the world, and whereas International Women's Day has been observed since 1911 and serves as a reminder of the important progress women have made towards equality, and whereas the Lebanon County Commission for Women was established March 20th of 2003 to assist women to enhance their status in the community, and whereas with the goal of the Lebanon County Commission for Women is to promote awareness be a catalyst for change and facilitate action and concerns facing women and their families. And whereas in 2010, the commission created the Women's Hall of Fame as a way to recognize women in Lebanon County who have made significant contributions in their field of work. Women have been inducted into the Hall of Fame in the following categories. Women demonstrating leadership, women creating community, women promoting agriculture, women working for justice, women promoting healthy lifestyles, women contributing to the arts, women innovating in education, women fostering advancements in science and technology, and women serving in the military. Recipients are honored at our annual Hall of Fame luncheon held during Women's History Month. The Women's Hall of Fame continues to honor phenomenal women each year. And whereas with the combined spirit and commitment of all women in Lebanon County, our Lebanon County Women's Commission will advocate for increased opportunities for women to achieve positions of leadership in business and government and professions. Whereas the women of Lebanon County Commission of Women appreciate the struggles of the suffragists and others who fought for women. So thank y'all for allowing us to have this opportunity to come before you today and share these wonderful things. Do you want to finish it? Therefore we Oh I, I can. Therefore we the County Commissioners Lebanon County Commissioners do hereby recognize the Women's World Day and proclaim that March eighth, twenty twenty two is recognized as World Women's Day in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. And therefore, I would be honored to make a motion to um, approve this proclamation. And will this then be presented in, in with the certificates for the um, Hall of Fame winners? Are we able to do that? Yes, we would love to provide okay. that. I'm yeah. sorry, it wasn't your turn. That's just yeah, kidding. It was. <laughs> just yes, kidding. yes well, it was. He did the 2019, I, I did kidding. the 2021. Just, it is my well, turn. <laughs> I would like to second the motion, but I would also like to comment. You may, yes. All right, uh, I'll yeah, second the motion, the motion to adopt the proclamation, but uh, 2003, you said that uh, my wife was in the small group that came in in 2003 to this office to petition the county commissioners to give seat money to uh, actually initiate and start uh, the Women's Commission. So I'm always proud of my wife and the role that she plays and she obviously did something in 2003 that is still active and uh, benefiting the community. So I'm proud to second the motion to adopt this proclamation. We have it. Moved and duly seconded, and I want to thank you for your leadership and your volunteerism with the group. And I have to ask you, were you a scholar athlete at Lebanon School District? Mm, no, sir, not Lebanon School District, I'm sorry. Okay, I thought I, I, had. I did basketball there, though. I, That's what I thought. I knew you from Mr. Simone. He was like my second father. Gotcha, okay. I grew up with him. No, okay, um, any comment or question on the motion? If not, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. Um, are you also going to promote? Okay. I didn't want you to leave to. yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for passing the proclamation, and we look forward to sharing this with our 2022 class of inductees, which allows us to also promote uh, the nominations for the 2022 class of Women's Hall of Fame are currently open until the end of this month. So applications are available in both English and Spanish, and uh, people can make nominations uh, on behalf of another woman uh, with her knowledge or without, though it's a good idea often to have a, a, nominee, a nominee check the information to make sure it's accurate. 
Uh, we also do posthumous nominations, so uh, for a woman who uh, did fantastic work during her life but is no longer with us, those are still eligible for induction. So if anyone is interested in nominating, please visit the county website on the Commission for Women page, and uh, we have available applications in both English and Spanish. And the Lebanon County uh, webpage, the homepage is lebanoncounty.org or lebcounty.org, I believe it is. And then they can find the Commission for Women there. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Anything else? Uh, Amanda, again, thanks for your leadership and good seeing you. Oh, thank, you right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you both ladies. Thanks for having us. Oh, yeah.